Hello, and welcome to my Unit 3 Market Research presentation. The concept for my Social Action production is a website containing a number of talking head videos with the aim of persuading students to take the Creative Media Production course. Primary Qualitative Research Qualitative research is research gained from asking open-ended questions that give an in-depth understanding of opinions and reasons. It also allows you to gain an understanding of who your target audience is, which means you can develop ideas for potential quantitative research. Focus groups, a form of qualitative research, are a collection of different people assembled to participate in an open discussion about a product before it's launched, or in this case to provide feedback on a campaign or movement. My research was of a high quality as I was able to find out a lot about my target audience and how to appeal to them directly. I learned the favourite aspect of the course is the practical work set to do over the year. Because of this, my production will focus on the practical work done in the course to attract students to the subject. Every student that I spoke to in the focus group said that they enjoy the Creative Media BTEC and would recommend it to newcomers at the college that are hardworking and enthusiastic about the subject. On my website, I will have interviews with students already taking the course, explaining why they enjoy it, so newcomers can get an idea of what it's like to be a creative media student. As well as what the course consisted of, the teachers themselves seem to have a large impact on students' opinions, which is why I will include interviews with the teachers so people can get to know them before making a decision on what subject to take. Primary Quantitative Research Quantitative research is a formal, objective method of research, usually executed with the use of a questionnaire. It produces numerical data that can be applied to graphs and charts to easily display information, in this case about my target audience. When trying to gain an understanding of your target audience, quantifying your range of responses is essential. This is because quantified responses are more simple and easy to read than long open-ended responses. It gives you a clear, categorised and straightforward answer to your question, which can be placed into graphs and charts for even easier visual reading. Questionnaires should be designed with 18 questions to get the best set of responses. This is because any more would drag on and cause the participant to lose interest and give poor answers. Any less, however, would not give you enough information to learn what you need to know about your target audience. Although my questionnaire only contained 13 questions, I learned everything that I needed to know to successfully appeal to my target audience with my production, and any additional questions would have been irrelevant and not needed. I learned from my questionnaire results that a lot of students starting at Worthing College were worried about whether the creative media course would lead to further education and a good career, with most of them guessing the average wage of the media industry to be much lower than it actually is. Because of this, I will heavily focus on what can follow taking the course by interviewing ex-creative media students that are in the industry or higher education. My results also told me that parents had these concerns too, which is why my production is aimed at both students and their parents to ensure that the Creative Media BTEC course is seen as a good subject to take. Target Audience The target audience for my production are students that are about to start their first year at Worthing College. They are therefore aged 16 to 19 years old. No other demographic applies to my target audience, as people of all sexual orientation, race and gender go to Worthing College. However, my target audience obviously consists entirely of students that have some level of interest in either the creative media course or a media-based subject. They therefore may also be interested in taking other creative subjects like film studies, photography, art, graphics and others. The students that make up my target audience will be very creative in nature with a passion for things such as filmmaking and other forms of media production that requires using your imagination to create something. My secondary target audience are the parents of students. This is because according to my questionnaire results, the opinions of the parents affected the majority of students' decisions when choosing which subjects to take at the college. Parents are stereotypically interested in what will follow after the course for their children such as a career or higher education. This is why I will also be advertising the theory side of the course and career and education possibilities that follow. Evaluation. This research exercise has been helpful to planning my production as it has given me an in-depth understanding of my target audience, allowing me to create a more effective and relevant production that directly helps and influences my target audience, and therefore the visual arts department of Worthing College. 
My findings were all relevant to my production, as I learned exactly what I needed to know about my target audience without asking irrelevant questions that would waste time and could mislead the outcome. To improve, if I was to redo the research aspect of the unit, I would have included activities in my focus group to keep the participants fully engaged, although I'm very pleased with the responses that I did receive despite not including a practical aspect to the session. Summary. So to recap, for the research aspect of the production, I gave out 30 questionnaires and held three focus groups made up of students at Worthing College that took creative media production. This is because my social action production is targeting people about to start at Worthing College and are considering taking the same course. My research has been essential to my production as without the in-depth understanding of my target audience that I've gained from my research, I would not be able to target them effectively and make a relevant and useful social action production that makes an impact on the community. In brief, my findings have told me in depth who my target audience is, allowing me to target them directly. It has also told me that both students and their parents have worried about what career and higher education possibilities follow taking the Creative Media BTEC course. I learned that the majority of students thought the average wage in the media industry to be lower than it is, and identified what aspects of the course, such as teachers and practical work, should be used to appeal to the target audience. This includes who I should interview. All of these points I will directly address and incorporate in my social action video to ensure that more students are more informed about and are drawn to the Creative Media BTEC course and a media industry career as a whole. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you very much for watching.